Well, folks, today I'm going to show you all my new truck. Actually, it's not new anymore because I got it back at the end of March and it's the middle of July, so I've had it for April, May, June. Four months already, and it runs nice. It's way better than my Ranger. But it's a Chevy Silverado. It's a uh, 2007, and it's a uh, V8 motor. Yeah, it's a little messy because we just had the hay back here. But and I got a tonneau cover rolled up, so she looks nice. And there's this side. But yeah, it's a nice truck. Better than my Ford Ranger that I had before this. Way better than my Ford Ranger. Yeah, it's a nice truck. Now, that was the outside. Now wait till you see the inside. It's a little dusty. Look at that. Got my lights and my four-wheel drive. And look, my four-wheel drive can even go on auto. So then I don't even have to turn it on to four. It'll automatically do it while I'm spinning. And there's my gauges. And I got buttons on my steering wheel too. This is mainly for the radio. This is all, these, all these buttons are mainly for the radio. Volume's back here, then this is for the radio. Then these buttons are for a cruise. Then here is the radio and the air conditioner and heater. And you got the plug-ins down here. And you got the old passenger seat there. And then I even have uh, heated seats on both sides. You can either heat just your back, or you can either you can either heat just the back, or you can heat the back and the bottom. And then these buttons here are for uh, buttons for where to push the seat. Okay, so here's number one. There's number one, that's where I usually have it. Then you push the center button and it brings it back. And if you keep pushing it, it just keeps bringing it back more and more and more and more and more. And if you push number two, number two is set at a different level. But anyways, that's that. And then I got the windows and the mirrors and the thing that I really like is I have blinkers. I got blinkers on my mirrors, which is really nice. Then here's the back. Just got the window button, no lock button. Got my toolbox. Got my back seats here. It's all leather seats, so it's really nice. And it's re I got it really cleaned up. And then people that sit back here also have their own radio. But it only works if you have headphones that's this is a volume setting for that person this is a volume setting for this person and then down here is hidden cup holders and also you see this little thing here in the middle seat more cup holders so there's four cup holders back here but anyways back to the radio you for it's basically the same buttons up front source is for AM or FM Skip this way, skip this way is for skipping to the next station. The power button, program, I can't remember what program is. But then these, you plug in your headphones here. And then these are your, vo then these, you plug in your headphones here. And these are your volume knobs. Then this is just a cigarette lighter slash plug-in for your chargers. But yeah, if people don't... Whoever's sitting back here, if they don't like what the music, don't like the music that's playing up front, well, then they just plug their headphones in, they listen back here. And then the other neat thing is the way the seats go up back here. Because instead of, you know, pulling, instead of pulling the back down, you go like this. You pull the bottoms up, and bam! There's all my tools and all blank. Most of this stuff is my winter stuff. And then that one, of course, is the single one. So then this just lifts up. Got my hitch, got my cane. 
I haven't used that cane for a long time because I'm leaning off of it so I can walk kind of semi-normal again. So yeah, so for storage, you just, oh well, here, let me get out of here so I can show you what it looks like with the seats up. But yeah, that's what a big open area, that's what it looks like with the seats up. And then when you want the seats back down, you just pull it. And there you go. I better pull the other one down. So, hurrah. so that's my truck, folks. I really like it. It's a really nice truck. It's way better than that little Ford Ranger I had. Because the guy that I bought it from said, Oh, the four-wheel drive works just fine. We got home that same day, looked under the Ranger. The vacuum hoses are totally chopped off. And I just have kept having problems and problems after that. Like the, I don't know, it was making noise. You'd go and drive and it would make noise, like a whining noise. But anyways, enough talking about that piece of junk. This is a really nice truck. Really nice. And I love it. It works just fine. I haven't driven it in winter much. Because like I said, I got it at the end of March. But of course, if you guys, if you Minnesotans remember, we got that central Minnesota at least, got that big snowstorm in that uh, weekend in April. I think it was like April 13th, April 14th, we got that big snowstorm. It was over a weekend. And then after that, it warmed up, everything melted. And... So I kinda got a little uh, kind of got a little time in for winter driving, but not much. So we'll find out this winter how this baby goes. But yeah, this is a nice truck. I'm really glad I upgraded. Yeah, now I have to make payments and stuff, but that's the least of my worries. I just want to, <laughs> I just wanted to feel safe driving my vehicle. So yeah, this is a nice Chevy Silverado. 2007 V8 engine. Actually, you know what? I could pop the hood. Let's pop the hood. And it's a little, a little handle here. I'll pop the hood and you guys can see the goodies. Uh, where's the lever? There. And there's the motor, windshield washer fluid, there's all the innards, yeah. You can tell guys, I don't know much about vehicles, so if you guys comment and ask what stuff is, uh oh, whoops, one of my caps wasn't in its spot. Shoot. Here, I might have to jump up here and figure this out. Ugh. Yep, my oil cap was not on. And where did I drive to the last few days? Oh boy, that wasn't good. At least I didn't. At least I didn't lose that oil cap down on the ground and lose it for good. Huh. Yeah, it takes five W thirty. There's the oil thing. There's the bat. No batteries around here somewhere. I think that's the battery right there. Oh yeah, energizer. Then I have an electric fan. I don't have a fan wheel down there. I got an electric fan. So, I gotta think now. When did I change the oil? A couple days ago. Oh, see, I hate being short. I can't reach crap, see? I gotta go to the side. 
Well, that was the V8 motor and everything. I think it was 5.3 liter, 5.3 V8. So, well, I made a discovery that my cap, my oil cap wasn't on. So, well, might as well end this video now. Otherwise, I'll be talking on longer. But we'll see you later, folks. Actually, you know what, folks? I can look right here when I change my oil because my dad taught me to do what he does when he changes oil and stuff. He has this little notepad thing right here. Here, I'll go up, stand outside and put on the seat. Anyways, he has a notepad similar to this. And he writes down when he changed parts, changed oil, all that good stuff. Um, let's see, March 2018, that's when I bought it, and it was 104,000 miles. The 8th of July is when I changed the oil and the filter. The 8th of July, and what's today, the 16th? I think the 16th. Yeah, I think that's what today is. I'll have to check my. I'll have to check my phone because you know kids nowadays have their phones to check anything. Yep, it's the 16th of July. So that oil cap that you just saw, that wasn't in where it's supposed to be, was on the hood of my tr was under or on top of the battery. It was on top of something in the front for eight days, and within those eight days. I've driven to St. Cloud a couple times. I've driven to Little Falls. I went and got gas once, maybe. So yeah, I think it was a couple times. Twice, maybe, in the last eight days that I went to St. Cloud. But yeah, all of that. And that cap was just sitting on top. I am so lucky that it did not roll off and lose it for good. But anyways, yeah, just wanted to mentioned that hey it's been eight days when it was not it's been eight days since I changed the oil so it's been eight days since that cover has been off of the oil so I'm glad I showed you the engine otherwise I would have seen that <laughs> well talk to you later folks